What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty in the V10. Um, as you can probably tell, today's mail day is going to be uh, all about Rube Waddell. So um, I've had a few of these for a, quite a while and then one uh, just recently on a big trade that I made. Um, but if you don't know, uh, or if you can't tell, I really like Rube Waddell. It's one of the first uh, big 206 I bought and um, he's just always kind of drawn me. I think he really helped kind of draw me to the set. Uh, just his story and his lore. Um, incredible player. Uh, the kookiest man to ever put on a baseball uniform. Hands down, you will not regret uh, watching a few YouTube videos or reading some about Rube Waddell. So, uh, anyways, he's got two poses in the T206 set. Obviously a portrait and then a throwing. Um, I like to get photos, well, copies of, of each. Um, so I've got one throwing and one portrait show off today, plus an oddball. Uh, we'll start with the oddball first. This is a W555. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to even pick up. These were little hand cuts. Uh, they comprised of this, like, box uh, thing. I think it was like a some sort of game, but they had a bunch of uh, players on the outside of the box and uh, people could cut them out and have little, you know, little examples of their favorite player. So not a lot of these are left, obviously. I was very happy to get this one. Thank you uh, to a fellow Rubaudel collector for that. Just a cool little piece. I mean, for size comparison, things pretty small. Um, you know, compared to a regular card. So very happy to have that. Just something you don't hardly see ever. Um, next up, uh, gosh, these both these cards are just crazy. Um, this one, very stoked to have as well. Funny enough, these all came from the same uh, Rubot L collector. I'm just now, just now realizing that. Um, and now if you watch my videos, you know I normally don't pick up uh, many, if any at all, uh, cards that are graded in A, uh, but this one uh, clearly had to make an exception. This is the throwing Rue uh, but the big kicker here is it is the old mill back. So um, both of Waddell's poses are in the what we call print group one. So the original uh, 150 subjects, um, the old mills on the print group one guys are insanely, insanely tough. Um, where a print group three player might have, you know, 50 old mills graded, um, a print group one guy might have like five or less. <laughs> so this one, crazy tough card. I am so, so thankful that uh, I was able to grab this. It's got some writing on the back. He's clearly a little short, but, um, yeah, I mean, this pretty much cements uh, me being able to finish the back run one day for this card. Um, and the color on this example is just absurd <laughs> compared to um, any of my other copies. I mean, this is a really good one. This four, this is a very solid copy, but the color on this one, uh, just incredible. I mean, yeah. So I've only seen two of these ever. This is the... Well, two ever come up for sale. This one, um, this one, and then one other that sold in Heritage. It was a two, PSA two, and I think it got three thousand dollars after buyer's premium. So just a, an absurd amount of money for that card. And then, don't know why my camera keeps not focusing. Uh, then the last one for today is going to be for the portrait to run, which again I don't have the old mail portrait. And um, unlikely that I ever do, unless I just stumble across it somewhere and quickly buy it up. Uh, but this is uh, another very tough card. Um, as you can tell, there's kind of two distinct background colors on the Rube Waddell card, even though they're they're just they're considered one card. It's not it's not two different um, variations. But the 350 uh, series cards from 1910 normally have a little bit lighter color. To them, uh, you can tell there that's a this card there is a 150 sovereign, that's a 350 sovereign. You can kind of tell the registration and color on, on, whoops, on both is, is just 
pretty vastly different. Um, so like this is a, a 1909 sweet cap. And then we've got here the 1910 sweet cap. So just crazy the difference on those two. Um, but anyways, what makes this card so special is um, the back <laughs> and a tiny microscopic uh, piece. So the 350 25 subjects, the factory 25s are just incredibly tough as well. Um, but they really only matter to you if you're working on a run, but everybody knows they're kind of tough and bids them all up. So, um, you know, the pop report on this, I didn't even check, but it's, it's under five, I want to say. So very tough card. Super happy to have that added to the Rue Baudel hoard. So now I've got six portraits and four throwings. So that is it, guys. That is all I've got today. If you have any Rue Baudel stuff you want to sell, hit me up. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace out.